I'm going to tear open and fix this air vent piece that is commonly found in the front and rear of this car. You'll also see how this operates. To see how to remove this from the back rear seat area or the front dash area. I'll put those videos in the description below for you to view later as well as all the tools used. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get to it. These are the only tools you'll need, if any. A needle nose pliers and a flat tip screwdriver, a small one, but you really could do most of this with just your fingers. Go ahead and grab a flat tip and pry this piece up. There you go. They're both the same. I'll work on this one. And if you can take a look right here, all these notches, I'm just going to pull out each one on both sides. And you could use either your fingers or a needle nose pliers. As you can see, there's five vent clips right here, with the center one being the piece you use to uh, move this up and down. And these are connected and they come out very easily. So you can just, there we go. There's a little clip there, so be careful because these can break. So do it carefully when you uh, pull them out. And they snap back into place. Now for this, see the dial right here? Turns. So we gotta probably use a little like a flat tip. There we go. Okay, so now to remove these three event clips. Now, if you look right here, those clips, the ends of the clips go right in here. And these three are right here. You just need to pull this up slowly, one at a time. Because it's also connected to a clip right here on this side. I'm going to pull this up, each one. So carefully. Okay. Got the last one. Perfect. This is how the piece looks. The fence has this interesting kind of a clip holding. So one piece goes on the end. This goes here in the center. And the other one goes in right here like so. Three pieces. And then here's the plastic air vent piece. Hopefully they've uh, made this better over the years. There is a total of 12 components that make up this air vent right here. To me that's a lot. I think this could have been a, a lot more simplified. That's going to take some time for someone to assemble this. Uh, of course uh, when the manufacturer, just Chrysler or Dodge or Jeep, put, put this in what they're doing is they're just taking these two pieces, snapping them in, and then just putting it in place. So it might not be that tedious for them to do because this is probably already, you know, already in there. But uh, still, whoever made this probably could have, you know, simplify this, make this a little bit nicer. Now that I finished tearing down this air vent, I'm going to reassemble this. But if you enjoyed this teardown so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. Time to grab this clip. Here's that weird looking clip that holds these heat vents in. One goes in there, the other one goes in right through this center piece, and the other one will go in, in right here. And I'll put this in a little bit later. Okay. I'm going to put these clips in right in here, here, and here. I'll snap it. Flip it around. And now, see these kind of like grooves right there? It's a notch, so you can slide each one in. So I like how they did this. Okay, good, that snapped in. There we go. Excellent, this is now in. See that? Moves nice and freely, which is great. Now, I'm gonna grab this piece and See this right here? I'm just going to line that up right there. This goes in right here. 
line it up and okay and it's in see that this uh that long piece is now attached to this cool and now this will move next grab those air vent pieces and go ahead and attach them one by one into here this will go in last this piece grab this and each one goes into those clips okay cool and there you go and look at that that's how easy it is to assemble this if you like this please like and subscribe check out some of the other teardown videos i've done and the other really helpful videos that might help you when working on your vehicle thank you very much for watching